everyone um, welcome to exchange for media my name is tanzila sheikh and today we are with the internet sensation himself rivant himat singh ka aka food farmer rivant uh, why don't you tell us about you know uh, first of all tell us about you know uh, the reaction that you are getting and you know how people are reacting to your video etc yeah uh, so i can break it down a bit i think the public reaction is super super positive i would say 97 98% of the people i would say are like you know very very positive and i'm getting so many messages emails saying that people are now finally going to start turning around the package and going to start reading the back of the package for all the products they're going to buy people are also concerned about what they're giving their children and they're asking me for their advice for different opinion, for different things the public reaction has been very ha uh, positive so i'll break down again 97 98% of the public has supported me a lot about 70% of my friends have supported me and around 30% of my relatives have supported me relatives are very scared they are like oh delete this video immediately what are you doing why are you trying to take uh, like you know panga with all these big companies it's not worth it you're not going to gain anything out of it so it's like the reaction in my immediate surrounding is a bit more negative um but the public uh, reaction is way more positive and like people are using all sorts of names and this and that so it's very uh, positive to look at comments and all of that but yeah great is so rivant uh, you know yeah i'm saying that how did you like uh, you know how did you came up with the idea of right uh, making a content uh, about bon vita and you know did you expect at that time that it will go this much viral and it will create such a huge impact you know in the entire country yeah i had exact idea i knew exactly it's going to get super viral no i'm joking um so uh, no of course it was a one minute instagram reel it was um, like it's not a research report or anything like that it's a one minute insta reel which i made for people to get more aware and the idea of why i made this video was not specific to one company uh, it was just that too many unhealthy products market themselves as healthy and i get really bothered i have a problem with cigarette companies but i have lesser problem with them because most people who consume them know it is unhealthy i have lesser problem with soft drink companies because most people who consume them have know that they it is unhealthy and they usually give it to their child once a week once in two weeks but i have a bigger problem with these health drinks and many other companies like this because people are giving this to their children twice a day and these are the products which consumers don't know it is healthy uh, it is unhealthy so if consumers know what they're getting into then it's fine like okay you go ahead and have something and even i have desserts i have things with sugar also but i know whatever i'm having is bad for me so that, that's my choice so that's what you know irritated me a lot and that's why i decided to make these videos and most people the media are only talking about one video i made three more videos also which i also took down which media has almost not covered at all and i got a legal notice also for some other videos as well which the media has not covered i think real wala was one of the videos right real uh, drinks yes okay so because i think uh, bon vita chose to react on your video and it went really really viral i think a lot of people had that in their mind and they were not able to uh, say it and then you you came out and you shined with your video maybe that is the reason why your video went viral and media is talking about it um talk to me about you know uh, this this uh, you know what this uh, uh, the notice that you received after you know your video went viral i mean how, what was your reaction at that time what was going on in your mind that you know should i stop making videos should i be like tell me what was the thing that was going on um i cannot speak too much about the notice so that's like one issue but i had 24 hours to respond and i did not have much internet so i saw the notice only after a few hours had already gone so by the time i saw the notice i did had like only around like 14 15 hours to respond and it was night so i had to sleep and like you know and then in the morning i had to like make a call that okay i have like 12 14 hours to now make a decision out of which 8 hours will be or 7 6 7 hours will go and sleep or whatever so i have like barely any time i don't have any like you know very close lawyers or anything like that so i honestly did not know what to do so I, it was 
reaction was a bit impulsive whatever i did because like i had a fixed time frame by which i had to do whatever i had to do and yeah i had like a immediate like relatives and whoever like you know three four people who i contacted they all were like oh why are you trying to fight or trying to you know do anything with a big company so just delete it so i deleted it tell me that did you go ahead and researched about all the things that you you know say, said in your video like you know as an influencer as an influencer since you had such a big impact so you researched about it and then you spoke about it as a responsible citizen and, and as a responsible influencer out there yes of course uh, i did my full research and i'm very happy to see that one of india's leading nutrition bodies which comprises of a team of several doctors several medical profes- uh, professionals uh, professors who backed everything i've said and like you know they verified my uh, whatever i said in the video so of course everything has to be well researched when you make a video like this once Can again I, so i want to also i also want to clarify that at the same time it is a one minute instagram reel it is it is not a research report that has every single advantage and disadvantage and it's a insta reel it's not supposed to be like you know every single like you know competitive analysis that oh this product is better than this competitor but it is not but like you know it's a one minute instagram reel people have to understand that absolutely yeah you are absolutely right ek minute pe insaan kitna hi fit fit kar lega your twitter account was suspended are you doing anything about it are you like you know making a new account what are you doing about it uh yeah so i for um, suddenly logged into my twitter and i saw it was suspended and uh, it was at the peak of the controversy and for the next one week every when i logged like you know when i saw twitter through some other people's accounts i saw that that particular health drink and company was trending um so it's kind of crazy that i myself was not allowed to you know look at all the things and people so many people's posts got viral there and i'm here and i'm like it is pretty crazy that you know it was suspended but i don't know why it happened i applied to like you know i, I appealed it twice with twitter and they've not responded so i created a second account uh it barely has any followers it has like 300 followers or something like so most people don't even know about it um but yeah i have created a so uh, twitter account i'm hoping that you know that picks up a lot because picks up more than it is because i see a lot of media and government officials and all around twitter so when i post something on instagram they don't really see it so so many times i've tried to communicate to the media and like they don't understand it or they they, they don't they not aware of my side of the story Rivant, I want to know that you know, are you going to be taking on to other brands as well? Apart from the three videos that you have made about Real and one more, uh, I think it's it's a bag bag uh, brand. So, are you going to be taking on other uh, you know brands, well researched videos maybe in that space? Will you go? So before uh, this everything blew up, I already made a few videos on other brands. I have not posted them as a result of all of this. and uh, now it's uh, i do want to make videos but for now if you have seen my instagram i have been making videos on health but it's not directly targeting brands it's indirectly okay speaking about refined food speaking about bollywood celebrities uh-huh. and speaking about health in general which i am doing and people are liking those videos as well so i'm trying to be funny in the videos as well trying to make the videos interesting so that it's not like you know preachy or boring or anything like that but yeah i will make videos on specific brands as well that's what people want to hear and that yeah. is what i believe will improve people's health as well mm. and i believe that as freedom of speech that should be allowed mm. and i made a video on this as well that if people can review iPhones if people can review movies when it comes out why if a film critic like you know taran adarsh can review pathan why can i as a nutritionist not review a food product and if people can openly like you know when we watch pathan i made a video on this as well when i watch pathan you openly say sharukh khan acted well or siddharth anand directed well or not you don't say indirectly oh this 
a guy with a 10 pack acted very well we openly take the name so when it comes to food products why can i not openly take the name of the company people are telling me you make the uh, video but you indirectly say things don't say the company's name say something else but that is like loses the entire purpose and it's like so i am like pretty upset about it and i am not sure like what to do i have been advised by my friends and uh, family and all to not take names but i don't want to do follow their advice so let's see absolutely are you also taking any legal help you know this brand might come after you so are you also taking any legal help not really uh, like uh, i didn't take any legal help uh, for the first 7 8 days now there have been a lot of people on social media who reached out to me oh, like you know they are willing to help me out this and that so i uh, asked a couple of people for their opinion on a couple of things um so some of some people have advised me a couple of things but it's not any formal contract or like you know i don't have a lawyer a per se it's like some yeah. lawyers on social media contacted me i'm taking advice from them but not much i don't want to get into all of that because lawyers only talk about the worst case scenario and um, if you keep talking about the worst case scenario you will only get scared and you will always <laughs> they are like oh instead of saying um, this particular product like you know we make everything indirect blur this blur that i, I don't want to get into cuz the more i listen to lawyers i feel the more i'll hide the truth so yeah. i i really don't want to get into the like jamila of lawyers yeah. have you also been approached by any government body apart from nipa uh, the doca uh, you know um consumer affairs um, body or even ascii for that matter ascii reached out to me saying that was i uh, paid by some other competitor or something like that and i told them of course i was not i don't promote any of the competitors none of the competitors at least the main ones i don't know about small ones none of the main ones as per as what i know is are like healthy either and like you know just because they claim to make you tall does not necessarily mean that they make you tall and all of that so i was no uh, no one else from the government reached out to me uh, as such um i of course saw a very i'm very happy with the whatever government has done i saw today uh, yesterday i think the child's uh, child's right body asked yes, them to ncpcr yes exactly so they asked uh, them to take down some of their misleading ads packaging and labels so i'm really really happy and i'm thankful and grateful to the government that in a matter of like you know a few days or a few weeks they have acted so quickly you know i've heard uh, so i'm really happy that the government has so responsive okay i just have two more questions to go is that you know uh, what you made the video that you made was a de influencing video if you know the term de influencing and be influencers they talk against okay they take the reverse approach So tell me about you know your thoughts on de-influencing. The video that you made was a de-influencing video. So how should a should an influencer go about de-influencing without getting into trouble? Yeah, the last part I don't know. I have gotten into trouble. So the last part I am the worst <laughs> person to ask about. Like you know you should ask all the other people. Um, so the first part I mean like I used to back in the day also. i should never call myself a motivational speaker i should always call myself a demotivational speaker because i don't think i've motivated anyone in my life i only demotivate people similarly i don't think i'm an influencer as you pointed out i may be a de influencer and i personally feel that in an influencer you can pay them x amount of money and they'll uh, you know say anything that you want them to say but a de influencer has no motive but to say the truth they are not being paid by anyone they have no nothing to gain out of it so um i personally feel that it is the better model in some ways that you know as long as you are factual um you are speaking the truth because you can again like you know give me give anyone like you know give any influencer a little bit of money you can say anything like you can call some horrible movie the best movie like many critics do you can like call a super unhealthy food which as healthy like many packet juices company which are like super bad for you but like you know you can market themselves you know as healthy so 
that doesn't mean anything so that's why i feel like most influencers today they are just repeating whatever the people want to hear um whether they are paid or not paid like even the quality of videos they make they often are like oh it's never too late marks are not important don't worry like they make to the students because oh, every student wants to hear that marks are not important so they just repeat whatever students want to hear oh yeah marks are not important and like so that i just feel like the entire game of influencer is just to repeat whatever consumers want to hear or the whatever the audience wants to hear and that's what i don't like you sometimes have to be a bit more honest um so yeah so yeah you have taken the de influencer wala approach yeah i mean and that's not my only aim to be very honest it's not that i only want to say negative things or anything like that if there's anything positive i'll say that as well it just happens to be that right now i was in a phase of making videos on products that market themselves as healthy when they're not as really as healthy as they claim to be and that was pretty much it so what's your next move revan that is my final question to you like what what is the, what are you going to do now are you going to be in the influencer space only or are you going to you know go out and do something be an activist or something like that um i am not sure to be honest i am trying to take each day as it comes i wanted to before i made this video also i wanted to do something in the nutrition education space i feel there is a major uh, lack of knowledge in nutrition amongst people and even health conscious people even the people who go to the gym even they are consuming several products which are bad for them so i feel there's a lot of scope in trying to educate people so i want to try to create a positive business where you know it's not that i'm against money or anything like that i'm not going to fake it and say that oh, i don't care about money or anything like that i want to make money but i want to try and create a positive business so i feel there's a lot of scope in the nutrition education space which i'm going to try and explore outside of that uh, in specifically in relation to videos and all of that yes i'll continue making videos now whether or not i'll take specific brands i whether or not i'll target them or not is i'm going to postpone it a bit i will do it but not immediately i want things to quiet a bit i want to understand a few things whether the freedom of speech that we talk about is actually um as absolute as we think it is and like let's see great is it was nice talking to you revan and uh, this is me tanzila sheik with revan himat singh ka aka food farmer signing off today Have a great day everyone. Thank you.